Welcome to another soccer down here, 1v1. Time to catch up with owner and president, Grand Exalted Pooh Bob, South Georgia Tormenta FC, Darren Van Tassel, for an update. And Darren, earlier in the, in the week on the show, we discussed the, the grassroots programs and initiatives that are going on. And the one that we mentioned with Tormenta that we thought was really cool was the dollar ticket. Go into that for me. I think, well, first of all, it's so good to be on the show again and, yeah. and to all the listeners. I'm always honored you guys have us. You know, this was one we brainstormed. We had our own uh, front office summit in the summer, and we asked ourselves, what can we do that we think makes a difference? Now, we didn't ask a question that other squads aren't asking themselves and other franchises, but we said if, we, if we're going to ask the community to be a part of us, what, how can we do it? And it struck us that having all students, whether they're college students, high school students, whether they're senior citizens who are going back to school and working on a degree and whatever capacity of students is, um, is uh, defined, that they would get into all tormented games for $1. And it wasn't just this year while we're still playing in a temporary site at Georgia Southern University before our stadium's completed in 2020. But John, we're going to keep the dollar ticket offer for students um, for as long as Tormenta is playing. Um, that's a pretty cool thing to be able to say when you're holding that price down. That way families get to come. So if you're working, yes, you get you have a ticket price to pay. It's not free to come in. And it's not free for students either, but the $1 sends a message that we want to help grow the game and we're going to give you some time and space to come do just that. And that was what we were getting into. It was the, the notion of while it's on a college campus, A, in the short term, what you're doing is you're in a college town, keeping that college audience engaged and bringing in more college students or students in general that may not have even thought about hanging out for any kind of entertainment where Tormenta was concerned. It's it's an instant draw, and you're, you're bringing folks into the game that may not have necessarily thought about going in the first place. Can't wait to grow the fan base. And, you know, I think efforts like this breed a lot of loyalty listen it puts people in the stands and everybody from players to advertisers like lots of faces on screen time and in the in the stands too but it breeds loyalty and i think it really reminds us all at the core of why we're doing all of this and league one is a fantastic um league and an avenue for us to do it so we're really excited about it it's going to be a great time for us. Our fans are uh, responding to it nicely, and I think it's also going to make it for a really tough place for opponents to play in. And other announcements that have come across the board, Open Cup, and I guess for you that meant opening up two separate emails. Wasn't that really fun? Um, I think there are just a couple <laughs> franchises in the whole country that have two teams in it because of the success that the League Two team had last year. Um, obviously, it's called the PDL then. Um, so that was an automatic qualifier. Every pro team is in it every year, as we all know. Um, hey, it was fun to read the announcement and just see the footnotes that um, about Tormenta FC um, and, and New York Red Bulls. Both are going to have two teams in there. That's some uh, fun ground for us to, uh, um, to have side by side. If either one of those teams wins three games, um, you know, MLS sides await for us going to be a lot of fun. It's really, I, I, I love the whole format of it. It's, it's why the, you know, the tournament, I think it's around our 107th year, 106th year. We're getting close to that number. Um, happy to be part of that tradition this year. Uh, we're, we'll, get, we'll get going on that in mid-May. What's it like to juggle all of these chainsaws simultaneously? Well, if you keep the finger pressed down on the trigger and don't tape it down while it's running, <laughs> um, is actually more dangerous while they're running. Um, fortunately for me, we have about um, 30 people trying to juggle the, the chainsaws. It was just by myself, four in the air at a time. It's pretty hard, but um, <laughs> we're having great fun as we're growing something. And, you know, it's not not just to be a platitude or Pollyannish about it. It is fun to grow things, and it involves a lot of time and attention, but that's the reward. That is the reward in it. I think soccer in the United States has had thousands and thousands of people trying to grow something. And it's really just been the last couple of years that the larger public has paid attention to it. And as we've moved into the mass public from that elite soccer circle, 
this is a lot of fun. And I think Statesboro is a great place to sort of pinpoint where some of that growth is happening. And, you know, we, we keep looking at the calendar. I don't know if you have one of those fancy digital countdown clocks in the office that makes sure that everything reminds you about the upcoming launch. There was an article that came out that I want to discuss with you a little bit that mentions the probably the insta rivalry that could be going down with Tormenta and Greenville. And I know that in past conversations that you and I have had, it's not just Greenville and Tormenta, it's Chattanooga and everyone else that's wrapped up in the, the southeastern footprint. But when that article came out and mentioned the insta rivalry with the Triumph, what went through your mind? That they were probably right. Um, but it also reminds me, um, I think we, when you only have 10 teams in this league the first year, I think we're going to, when the whistle blows, we're going to all feel pretty impassioned about it. But I think those teams that where the fans can travel to each other have a real chance of things kicking in and, and going forward. Um, it will probably be our best rivalry simply because it'll be the first game we ever played. There's a wonderful history, in, at least in Statesboro, of that rivalry between Georgia Southern University and Furman University dates back 20, 30 years ago from college football days. That one's baked in here. I don't know if the Greenville fans are aware of it so much, but it's definitely, <laughs> it's definitely baked into greater Georgia Southern crowds. But, um, you know, 52 days, one hour, 48 minutes, and 59 seconds. But who's counting? Anybody are counting yeah. is where – all that sets, but listen, if we just play the meme game on social media, um, there's all kinds of rivalries forming right now. So it's, it's fun. It's, it's going to be a great that, that we're going to have rivalries much bigger than that. Chattanooga and Orlando are going to be right there with us. But um, I have a big feeling that um, Madison and Lansing and Tucson and Richmond and uh, Toronto, Dallas, they're going to all feel like rivals this first year. So you, you mentioned supporters, and I want to get into this a little bit, because in all of the updates that we've had, we really haven't gotten into the whole supporters group aspect of it. But break down for those who've never had the, the chance to see a Tormenta match, the supporters and the fans and really just the support in general that the, that the Magenta have had in its growth and the anticipation that we're getting toward here when we're under 60 days. Everyone likes supporters groups to be organic. So it's fun to watch that happening. And, you know, they're 50, 60, 40 year olds mixed in with the, the younger crowds. It's fun to watch them tailgate and get themselves organized. And they've even been in our sports bar where they're practicing their cheers the last couple um, of years. It's a loyal crowd. Um, for us, it's a pretty noisy crowd. They like to heckle. At least they have in the years we, we were playing in League Two. Um, such a big change for us is to be able to start the season while the university is still in. So that's a whole new atmosphere that we're going to get to see and experience and and see exactly how all that you know fills up. But every sport loves fans. I think soccer fans um, have a unique piece in our own sport. Um, it's, it's, it's like anything else. It's so fun to watch it grow. Um, and I'm starting to watch some of the chatter getting online with some of the other supporter groups is there. Um, you know, some of them have some pretty good um, Twitter game. We're going to probably, you know, continue to up ours um, in all of that regard. All right. So what are the next markers since we're under 60 days here and what, what else as one of the architects of this thing from the ground up, uh, are you are you looking forward to? What are the next markers in the filing cabinet we need, that we need to keep an eye on? Well, the players um, arrive. You know, we've been going in training camp pretty hard here um, for a couple of weeks. It's really fun to watch those relationships now merge. So we feel like we're in a very different um, setting where um, you know the team's getting ready to play this weekend. We'll play our first friendly, and starting this weekend, we're going to play at least one a week. Um, got some pro games um, in there with some uh, championship teams. Uh, we're going to play one against Tampa Bay Rowdies who are coming up to Statesboro for a four-day visit and play. Uh, we will play them here in Statesboro um, at Georgia Southern University or Crystal Park. 
we'll open that one to the public. Most of our friendlies will keep closed. Um, and then they're actually going to stay in town and play uh, George Southern men's team the next day. Um, so we've got a lot of work to do. It's, it's nice to have a couple months in order to get ready, just like at Tormenta and all the other teams, we're getting used to that pace of um, where it's a long, longer season and getting guys to get going. So actually this Saturday um, we'll do a closed session um, 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 against one of the college teams. And it's going to be a lot of fun to watch and see us, you know, play somebody else. Darren Van Tassel, Grand Exalted Pooh by South Georgia Torment. It's good to always catch up with you and get the updates. How do folks keep an eye on things on the media that is social if they are so inclined? Well, our Twitter and Instagram and Facebook um, with, with Tormenta keeps it going. TormentaFC.com is, of course, the website. All the social media is there. Always great to talk to you. I like the smiles from the titles. So thanks, John. <laughs> Anytime, my friend.